Il me fait l'honneur, le plaisir d'être avec nous ce soir. Je vous demande d'accueillir et même de faire un triomphe à Monsieur Roger Moore. Merci bien. Merci. Je, je suis très embarrassé. Je voudrais vous faire écouter et vous faire regarder quelque chose, me dire si euh, ça, ça vous rappelle de bons souvenirs. Écoutez et regardez, Roger Moore. Ça, c'est mon fils. Il dit que vous pouvez avoir leading man que vous He said, I get Rock Hudson, I can get Glenn Ford, I get uh, Tony Curtis, a couple of other names. I said, you know, I think that but Tony Curtis, I think, is a great actor and has great humor, and I think that would work. So he said, all right, and we signed Tony. The combination between Roger and Tony worked like a dream. They were bright, both of them. Tony's quite sharp, and between the two of them, they made scenes that would appear normal bounce. Bob, Bob Baker, who's my partner in, in the scene, uh, thought it would be a good idea to do this thing. And, and it always works. Two men who are very different. They have the same objective, but they go about different ways, which is well, Spencer Tracy and Clark Gable in the, in the old days. Mm. It works. Jack Lemmon. Forget it. Walter yeah. Matthau. Jack, Jack Lemmon, Walter, thank you. Well done. Walter yes. Matthau, a wonderful combination. Yes. Yeah. And you wanted Tony Curtis, didn't you, of all the people who were uh, offered? Yes, because I, I felt Tony was such a, a, a funny character, mm. great comedian, and also a very, very good actor. You were very polite about him, but he was quite hard work, wasn't he? Oh, no, well, was you, uh, t Tony didn't really like sticking to the script, which mm. made life a little difficult. So, so when, when you shut your lips, Tony, I will speak. No, but we had a good, we had a good time. Did he really he'd make things up as he went along? Yes, but off the wall. And, <laughs> But he's funny, is it? Dear sweet Bill, how nice to see you. Can I call you Bill or shall I call you William? It was comedy action adventure. Um, it was very funny because it was very successful. Everywhere except America. I say, Daniel. Oh, I'll buy you one. In blue. The problem with the Persuaders was it was, I think, slightly ahead of its time. It was tongue-in-cheek English humour and the Americans weren't quite sure how to take it. The unexpected failure of the persuaders in America meant Roger Moore, now age 46, was free to accept the role of a lifetime. Mr. Bond. James Bond. Careful, William. Honey, Penny, a feast for my eyes. What about the rest of you? 